Teaching English as a foreign language. This is something I'm now delving into. I've got a bit of space to do it. Um, I've got a few things I need to get April to start doing so I can release myself to start doing this training. Um, but one of the things I want to say is, is anybody else interested in learning it? Because there will be a lot of the stuff I do which can be replicated. You know, a lot of stuff I find these days is chuff. Um, what I mean is a lot of books could actually be a one page of A4. So there's no point in me reading the book and then going, okay, there's the book, go and read it. If I can actually turn around and go to you, well, you only need paragraphs on page 12, 14, 19, 36 and whatever. The rest of it's just junk. Um, I have no problem with sharing that information because then the day I... I'm not I'm not a supporter of a thousand words when one will do. You know, if one word will answer the question, why do you need all these other ones? Which is why I'll quite happily share that information. Same as if I have some materials and stuff that may be useful to others, I'll quite happily share them. And I want to start a little discussion group on training methods for different types of people. Um, because it's a bit of a journey, the, the reason I'm saying journey is although I'm doing the course now, in two years time I may be like moving from say doing uh, teaching kids and the odd adult here and there to teaching business English. Um, as such, the information I have now I can quite happily share on what I'm doing, but then somebody else may have gone from doing the course into teaching business English and as such have information I would love to have, which is why I'm quite keen on working together with a few other people. And I know there is some people out there already um, doing language. And I say language is because it's not just English. Um, I know Peter's doing German, for example and as such there's opportunities for cross training because somebody may go to me right Matt I've got a grasp on English now but I need to also do German I can go oh I know this great guy um, I'll put you in touch with him because referrals are worth more than anything else and the other thing with language schools a lot of stuff online don't pay the right rates and I'd much rather help generate direct teaching than having all these middlemen creaming off all the cash where they can um, which is why I'd rather work with people that A could help develop my skills but B I can help develop their skills and between us we can help market ourselves as a group um, because that that's worth a lot more um, to everybody because if you get to a certain standard and everyone's happy there's a whole ream of stuff that could come off this I know uh, one of my friends in the Philippines, he, he was out in Turkey um, teaching English for a bit and that was a thousand pounds a week, all expenses paid, etc. to go and teach in Turkey. Um, there's somebody out, I know out in China at the moment, he's been there for the last four years um, teaching Chinese, uh, teaching Chinese, teaching English to Chinese. There's a lot of local knowledge people need to know. There's a lot of things to deal with agencies and what problems you're going to face. You know, what permits do you need? What, how do you rent an apartment in Beijing? Do the agencies deal with it? Are the agencies ripping you off? Because like when I was in Oman, we had this company that, well, corruption's rife in the, in, in, a, in the Middle East. Um, we're getting told, oh, you've got to have an apartment. And I'm like, well, no, because I'm fully founded anyway. Um, my accommodation's your problem, not mine. And they were trying to get three of us to, into one apartment to save on the hotel fees. No chance. Um, but the point is, they're like, oh, well, we've got this one. It's only 1,200 reels. Now, 1,200 reels is a lot of money. You can look it up because it's... it's uh, at then it was £1.25 to a reel. So you can see, it's not a, it's a lot of money for for what was on offer. 
But then when I research online myself, I'm finding places uh, about five to six hundred wheels, which A, were better quality, B, in better locations, and C, even had like uh, servants' quarters and swimming pools and stuff. And it was, you know, you're getting ripped off. Um, that's why I have an issue with some of the Indian guys, because Indians and Pakistanis in the Middle East are involved in most of the corruption in some way. I'll cut this off from a political debate now. Um, but they were basically robbing the company. Um, let's just leave it at that and then trying to get me to move into somewhere they could actually profit at least 600 wheels for themselves a month. But the the point here is that sort of thing you can prevent by having people that are already there. You know, if somebody says, oh, Jim's going back to America next month, they're after somebody that's a native English speaker. I'll put you forward and I'll say I've known you, blah, blah, blah. Then you've already got your foot in the door. But you've also got somebody there that can, you can trust their information. So this is why I'm thinking, okay, maybe we can put something together, a little forum. It's not going to be on YouTube or stuff. Because like you're either doing it or you're not doing it. I can't. Um, I don't need like 101 comments with people's opinions on stuff that they're not even interested in doing. They, so I'll put this on a private forum in one of my websites somewhere where people can actually chat and exchange information, etc. Right, let me know what you think. All right, thanks for watching.